lurking loris how do governments still expect people comply with conscription in upcoming conflicts i don't see why even the most hardened status would die to protect open borders because what they'll do look gang in india one of the things the indian government has been doing because india is very factionalized like tribes all over the place right but under one umbrella so what india does is get police military from one part of india to control citizens of another part of india because those people don't know anyone there they're transplanted there right occupying force in your own country so what western governments are going to do and they're doing this already it's already begun right they're going to say to the mass migrants hey you want permanent residency right? we know you're a migrant we know you've done all this 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 we're going to conscript you in a um, state policing force right and we're going to put you in the city to make sure there is no looting and violence and stuff like this i.e we're going to arm you we're going to train you we're going to give you a badge and we're going to allow you to abuse the citizens of that region will they do it 100 percent because they don't give a rat's ass about the people there right why would they they had the united states the people there come to their countries and bomb the crap out of them destroy their countries economically politically everything environmentally right look at what uh u.s corporations have done right environmental pollution all over the global south right so they're gonna give these people their their brute force to control the indigenous population and if anybody thinks that this is crazy talk this is what they've done throughout history why do you think they won't do it now that's crazy to me right that's crazy to me